All right, so what we've got here is we've got a Dyson V10 battery. This is brand new from Dyson. I've actually had this now for, I think, over a year um, because I ordered it with the intention of seeing whether or not, uh, you know, they're just checking on the cells and uh, never got around to it. But as you can see here, hopefully you can see that. It's an SV12 battery so that's uh standard v10 <clears throat> so uh so the big question with this is um dyson made <laughs> james dyson made the statement in a press release that his batteries were going to last 15 years and that has definitely not been my experience with previous generations of dyson machines um and so everybody online, all the Dyson fanboys are saying, well, it's special battery chemistry, it's special battery chemistry. Listen, unless you're Tesla, um, you're probably not getting special battery chemistry. You're probably buying a cell off the shelf. So I have a hard time believing that they can rate this for 15 years, um, just based on the current commercial battery technology that's available. So we're going to tear into this and see whether or not there is some sort of magic uh, special sauce in these, uh, or whether or not they're just off the shelf, um, off the shelf cells. Now, warning, disclaimer, do not try this at home. Okay. I'm trained in how to deal with uh, lithium ion batteries. Um, I'm comfortable, but very careful getting into them. If you get into them and you don't know what you're doing, you could really injure yourself or potentially uh, fatally injure yourself so just be aware of that so we're going to go ahead and tear into this guy I need a Torx head Okay, upon first blush, I can't see any lettering on the cells themselves, but I can see this uh, pearlescent green color. That is typically the earmark of a Sony cell, which would not be off-brand for Dyson, as I've taken apart Dyson V8 batteries before that have been uh, Sony VTC4 cells. So I already know that they've supplied Supplied Dyson at some point in the past. Okay, so this is uh, this is a good battery. So what we've got here is we've got a. Sony v VTC5D. Sony VTC5D. Um, and that is a good cell. Um, they're rated for right around 500 uh, discharge cycles. But if you do the math, um, that's great if you have a small to medium sized home. This battery pack, in theory, could maybe last you 15 years, but. If you have an American sized home, if you have anything that's over like 1500 square feet, you're going to end up almost doubling the amount of time that you're charging this over the years. So you're going to be looking at a drastically reduced, um, a drastically reduced service life. The other thing is we saw when I took one of the leads off, this is a uh, battery pack that is wired in series, meaning that all the all the uh, batteries are in essence uh, stacked end to end. So if you take one link out of that chain, it's actually going to then break that chain. So all it takes is one of these cells to go bad and suddenly you're stuck with a battery pack that does not work. So you've got the more cells that you add, which this has added an extra cell over their previous models. This is seven cells versus six for their previous versions. You're just adding more variables in terms of when this could potentially break. Now this is not unique to Dyson. This is true of any cordless machine. It's important to be aware that 
there's increased risk of uh, you know reliability problems and there is increased risk of um, you know challenges with regard to service and the cost of that service uh, replacing the battery packs um, Again, there's replacement packs that are now available for some of Dyson's older models. I don't know if they've got V10s available yet. Probably definitely not V11s. That's still fairly new. Um, but in any case, I guarantee you that if you get a replacement battery pack, it's probably not going to have a VTC 5D in it. Uh, you know, you're probably going to be looking at some cheap Chinese uh, knockoff cells that are going to be even more questionable in terms of reliability because this is a pretty good cell. Now let's talk real quick about the difference between this cell and off the shelf. This is an off the shelf cell. There is nothing unique about this. So when, um, when Dyson talks about its battery life or what you can expect the battery life to be, this is not using anything different than other cordless vacuums or power tools. You see these used in power tools a lot. Um, it's, it's nothing special. It's good, but they did not have a custom battery made for uh, a custom cell made for their battery packs. Um, so I applaud them for using a good cell. For all of you Dyson fanboys out there who thought that it was something magical and there was unicorns and fairy dust in here, um, it, sorry to disappoint you, but it's just a Sony VTC5. Uh, so in any case, um, that's all I have for now. Uh, if you like this, go ahead and like the video. If you uh, want to comment, you can feel free to do that below and I'll respond. And thanks for watching. Thank you.